Hey guys, I'm Doug. And I'm Hunter. And, and we are Waterloo Labs. We are engineers right here in Austin, Texas, bringing you awesome DIY projects. DIY science projects that include things like electronics, robotics, computer control, automation, mechatronics, and this week, we're focusing on fireworks. All right, guys. So for our very first episode this summer, we're going to be shooting off fireworks. And who doesn't love fireworks? And we're going to be using computer control to do it so that you can trigger off of any input you want. By the end, we're going to get big. We're going to synchronize it to a song. We're going to use real fireworks, real explosions. We're not just going to be telling you how to do it. We're going to be giving you the tools so that you can do this at home yourself. Because we want you to be able to play along at home. Now here's Anita to explain how it's going to happen. Hey guys! Okay, so I'm Anita. Being a chemical engineer, I really like stuff that explodes. We could just take a match to it, but that just wouldn't be nearly as cool. I want to do this with electricity. You guys all know that P equals I squared R. Wait, you don't know what P equals I squared R is? We've got this battery. Now this battery can make this P, this power, and we're gonna use that. We're gonna close a switch, and that's where the magic happens. We're gonna do this with some data acquisition. I can output a voltage signal from my computer. How easy is that? I don't even have to get up. Either output a high or low, which is gonna be essentially an on or off. But how do I know whether I want it to be a high or a low? On or off? I'd like to use a song. I need to take that song from the time domain to the frequency domain. And then every time that drum beats, my fireworks are going off. We're gonna take a sound file. Baby, bye, bye, bye. Any sound file that you want. Maybe not that song. Then we're gonna take a look at the power contained in certain frequencies, like the treble or the bass of the song. If the power in any of these bands reaches a certain level above the average of the song, we're going to trigger off a firework. We're going to send a digital out to our USB DAC. And this USB DAC is going to go to a Darlington pair transistor, switching the voltage, setting off the firework. Now we're going to take you out to the stunt ranch, show you how we really did it. Hey guys, we're out here at Wolf Stunt Ranch in Austin, Texas, and I'm with John. He is our fireworks expert. Hi, I'm John Boyles, and I'm an electrical engineer for Wolf Stunt Works. Today we're using model rocket engines to create a fire burst from the ground. To ignite those engines, we're using Professional Electronic Match, or E-Match, because it has a very precise timing. We'll also be using Omnidirectional Spark Charges, or OSCs, to create a large burst of sparks. What we'll do is bury these in the ground, and then on cue with our digital I.O., they'll explode out of the ground. Alright, so we are going to finish setting up here tonight, and we will be back when it gets dark, and we will light this stuff off. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. We hope you enjoyed the fireworks. Next time, we're going to be building a turret that tracks motion using your digital camera. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. And a big shout out to Mount Righteous for providing the music for our fireworks show. And another big thanks to Steve Wolf at the Wolf Stunt Ranch, and especially Mr. John Boyles, who gave us a huge hand setting up that fireworks display. And as always, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Remember, guys, fireworks are dangerous. So be safe and be smart. And please, try this at home. <laughs>